Hey, physicists. So here's your setup for an analysis of Motion Lab. Um, I've put this meter stick on the table and I've marked out different centimeter marks, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, little hash marks so I'm hoping you can see them. And then I've taken this pool ball and in various um, configurations, I've rolled it along here. And I set up the camera so that it got kind of an overhead view and you should be able to see when it crosses the 10 and the 20 and the 30 and the 40 centimeter mark. Um, I've done this a few different ways. You'll see what the variations are. And I've also done um, some slow motion footage and I've done some real time footage. Um, I don't think it makes a difference which one you do, just knowing that if you do it in slow motion, you're just gonna get times that are delayed, but they'll be consistent. So you could use that if it's easier. Um, and you'll, you'll get a sense for what is possible. Uh, but the basic idea is that when you see footage of a bowling ball or a pool ball on this side, you'll want to start your stopwatch as soon as it, when it gets to the zero. And then you stop the stopwatch when it gets to the 10. And then you'll go back and you'll start at the zero and stop when it gets to the 20. And start at the zero, stop when it gets to the 30, so that you've got a time measurement for each of these in addition to the centimeter measurement. So you get a position and you'll get a time for each of those points. Um, if you're clever, um, and by clever I don't mean smart, I just mean if you're like looking at the details of how the video is created, you might be able to, when I say might, um, use the video footage to look at the time mark on the video itself for when it hits zero, and when it hit 10, and when it hit 20, and when it hit 30. So if you can do that, that could save you some time um, or save some effort, but making sure you're doing that right is also some effort. So whatever you want, uh, all we're looking for is um, investigations where you're collecting data that correspond this pool ball being at a certain position with a certain time there, and then you're gonna create some graphs figure out what that means. Okay. Happy motion data analyzing.